Hey folks, this is Bill Brailsford with Rebar Business Builders and uh, today I wanted to uh, quickly show you a tool uh, to help you find uh, keywords and keyword suggestions. Doing keyword research is becoming a bigger part of our marketing today and whether it's uh, for your website to do some optimization or you're looking for some ideas to write about on your blog, uh, this can be a great tool for helping you find uh, keywords and, and different variations of those keywords that people are searching for to help drive some traffic to your site. So um, this site is called Ubersuggest. It's ubersuggest.org and it's pretty simple to use. What I've done here is I've, uh, I've selected a keyword. So I've typed in the state planning. I've selected my language and I've selected my source. For now, I'm going to leave it on web. And then I click the suggest button. Uh, and I've already done this ahead of time, so you don't have to wait and watch. And what it does is it returns uh, some keyword suggestions. And uh, so obviously I typed in estate planning, and it comes up with some different long tail phrases that include estate planning, uh, estate planning basics attorney. And um, as you can see, each one of these is a hyperlink. And so if I click on one of those, I'll click on estate planning uh, checklist it will expand and you'll see, so in this case, most of these are by state, which makes sense for state planning. Um, uh, so anyway, I can continue to drill down and see uh, different variations that are uh, available. And so as I'm looking through here, I want to collect keywords that I think might be interesting, and I can do that uh, a couple of ways. I can. Uh, for some reason, if I wanted all of them, I could just come up to this main search box and click select all keywords, but uh, I haven't found that I do that very often. Typically, what I do is, as I'm coming through here and I see a, um, a phrase that's interesting to me, I will click on this little green button. So let me find, um, I'll just take the state planning checklist uh, 2011. I probably wish that would have been 2012. but. Anyway, I click on the box, and as you see, it puts it over here in this right-hand column. I like to think of this almost like a shopping cart metaphor. So what I do is I go through, I find something that I like, uh, I click, I'll do one more, I click on the little green button, and as you see, as I do that, uh, it builds my list over here. If for some reason I want to start over, I can clear. But usually when I'm done, I'll hit this get button, which is if I'm back to my shopping metaphor, this is almost like my checkout. And when I click my get, I will get this uh, light box pop up that makes it very easy for me to copy and paste right out of here. So then I can copy and paste and, and uh, put this wherever I need to use it next. So. So I'm going to, let me clear these for a second. I want to show you one other. So that's sort of in general. Now let's talk about if you are ever stuck looking for uh, something to blog about. I'm going to change my source to news and then I'm going to click my suggest button. Uh, so what this will return to me is, you know, items in the news that are related to estate planning. So it's basically like saying, telling me what's going on in estate planning. And I can see, oh, here's something interesting, digital estate planning. So let me drill down uh, and see if I can go through that. But again, that might be another uh, good topic or, or at least something I might want to research some more to put on my blog if I have a blog about estate planning. So I uh, hope that was helpful and uh, feel free to give me a shout if you have any questions on how to use Ubersuggest.